Open Sidebox New Part Mod. Click on Front Plane and sketch a circle at origin. Assign dimension to this circle. Ok, exit from sketch now and make a extrude surface, extrude offset and set the offset distance that is 20-30 mm and depth of extrusion is 50 mm. Similarly, click again on circle, extrude surface, extrude offset, offset distance is 30 mm and depth of extrusion is 50 mm, change flip the extrude, extrude direction in this way. Sketch on on this right plane. Draw a circle of same down same diameter fifty millimeter. it from sketch now and make extrude surface with offset option at this time offset distance is 30 mm 20 mm sorry 40 mm and depth of extrusion is same as that is 50 mm again sketch the circle extrude surface and repeat last command in opposite direction. Now click on front plane and draw a center rectangle. Height of this rectangle is 35 mm. Exit from sketch. Keep this sketch selected and load split line command. Select the surfaces that to be splitted. You can see surface has been supplanted. Similarly, repeat for next circle for next surface. Again, draw a center rectangle. Define height of rectangle that is 35 millimeter. As it from sketch now. Keep this sky selected, load split line and select the surfaces to be split. So we have split the circular surface. Now use loft command and select these edge. This edge and this edge and from start and end conditions select uh, tangency options similarly repeat this loft feature for other three corners loft surface select this edge and this edge assign tangential end and start conditions 
If you like this tutorial, please subscribe our channel and so on. And also press on bell icon so that you can receive updated videos. Oh, this is the last last feature. If you have any query, you can ask in comments, please. Okay, now click on Fill Surface. Fill Surface. And select the edges in this way. From contact, use tangent option. You can see the preview of filled surface. So, this gap has been filled. Similarly, repeat this procedure for other side. Again, load filled surface command and select the edges in loop. Sorry, not the surface. This edge. Select tangent option. Check OK. Now we will join or unite these all surfaces using net surface select all these check ok so we have merged all surface into single one then now we'll thicken check the surface check directions and thicknesses So you can see we have made a cross type pipe fittings using SOLIDWORKS surface module. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and so and press on bell icon so that, so that you can get more updated videos. This is how to make a zonal section view. Okay, take care. Bye bye.